Hello and welcome to the SKU Savvy YouTube channel. Today we're going to go through an example where you have an order coming through Shopify. And it's got a few different products within it. But within that order, we have a few different, we're assuming a few different issues. And one of those issues is that our warehouse does not have the inventory to fulfill one or more items in the order itself. And so we're going to look at how that comes all out in the wash uh, when we get that order. So as you can see, I've placed an order. It's come into my Shopify store. We have a few different items there. And so one of the things that you can do right within Shopify is to go ahead and change the location, which is going to allow you to move the location directly within Shopify. Um, now that's kind of a slow way if you're using warehouse management system and want to be able to do that right within the warehouse management system itself. So as you can see, our order has come down into SKU Savvy from our Shopify store. And we have the same exact items there. Now, what I've already done is to go ahead and pick a few of the items that we're assuming has the, has the items in stock. And so if I look at the batch of order, this is a single order batch, I've gone into the warehouse and I've picked a few of the items. Now, as you can see, some of the inventory is not available for this order. So I've picked a couple of items and then I went ahead and packaged up what I could of this order. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and split the shipment. So what this is gonna do is to allow you to ship out the items that you've got already within this order. And then we'll come back to this order later on when that inventory arrives. And so that will allow us to either create a transfer or move the order over to another warehouse to continue filling the rest of the items that you have within this order. So I'm going to go ahead and split the shipment and then we'll see what that ends up bringing up here. So what you can see, it will take the unfulfilled items and essentially create a new shipment for them under the same order. So we'll split that. And now we've got the items that we've already packed up. We can go ahead and get a shipment label for that. So we'll get a shipping label. We got our label generated. We can print that out. And now we've gone ahead and assumed that we've already shipped some items within this order. And that's now when we come back into this order, we'll still see that we can fulfill it and with the rest of the product after that product has come in. So if we go into our order and we can see that that order is still partially fulfilled. And so what we're going to do here is we can see that we've already shipped out a few items in this order. And now we can go ahead and move the rest of the order to another warehouse to fulfill the rest of the products. So that's one way that you can start that you can deal with this is to move the order to another warehouse and then continue the fulfillment process there. Alternatively, you could open up this fulfillment at, within your SKU Savvy warehouse when you have new product that has just shown up to the warehouse. When we go back into our Shopify order, that fulfillment, the partial fulfillment, where we split that order into two different shipments has now been reflected into, excuse me, into Shopify, where you can see that those items were fulfilled from our warehouse location. Uh, and we still have a few remaining unfulfilled items that you, know, you could come into Shopify and fulfill them, although you'd have to reconcile the inventory into SKU Savvy, uh, or you could go ahead and fulfill that order within SKU Savvy, uh, as well as just be able to transfer that order to another location. So I hope that was helpful and uh, stay tuned to, for many more videos. If you haven't already gotten a SKU Savvy warehouse management system for Shopify account, you can head on over to skewsavvy.com forward slash register and get a free account and be able to handle split fulfillments, back orders, inventory using our visual layout of your inventory here uh, and actually doing 3D picking where it will identify on the map where exactly your product is to go ahead and pick as you saw when we were fulfilling our original order batch. And with that, thank you very much for tuning in to the SKU Savvy YouTube channel. Head on over to skewsavvy.com forward slash register to get a free account and connect your Shopify today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We really appreciate your help to grow the channel.